It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45. Everything I've done on MTV was influenced by Al Roker. Absolutely. You stole Ladies his identity. Gentlemen. I, I bit his whole style. You just style. put a hat on it. Yeah, right? That's yeah. all I did. Absolutely. You know, I don't look as great as he does. Well, who does? You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely aspire to be as great as he is. Well, that's that's awfully nice of you. Thank you very much. Sway. So dapper. Mr. Walker. Sway, Thank how you, are you doing? Good Good to see you. Get this, yo, we get the song oh, is that the, the hip-hop thing? handshake? Oh, it's kind of old scary. And hi, you like are. that, Debbie. Debbie, how are Debbie you? Debbie, is, is it very dark in here? Because you're wearing sunglasses. Okay, do you want to see my hideous face? <laughs> sure. I was up no, late. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's going to scare you. Okay. All right, go ahead. Not on Debbie. camera. Turn away, hey, Najee. Not on camera. Okay, that's not so bad. Yeah, it's scary. I mean, I'm expecting like, you know. There's no makeup on it. Tired. Okay, I that's natural, no, nah, I don't have makeup on either. She's naturally beautiful. Like, She's you can natural. Thank you for noticing. Voice. That's awfully nice of you. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, I was expecting like to, uh, all of a sudden to look over and do one of those Roger Rabbit double takes. Like, <laughs> you know, kind of. <laughs> Yeah. Like a Tom and Jerry kind of thing. <laughs> you know, where the eyes pop out and the body goes parallel to the ground. That's how I feel. And, you know, your mouth goes and then the tongue rolls out. That's not so bad. I mean, you know. It's, it's, like, it's, it's okay. not too bad, right? It's like, Yo, okay. You know what's amazing is you look just like one of those animated characters when you did that. I, yeah, you know, that was that's, great. Uh, my wife has always said I would give up everything almost except for my children to find the portal to Toontown. You know? but, <laughs> I mean, life, how great would life be if, uh-huh. in fact... If you if if gravity didn't happen until you acknowledged it, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, when you think right. when you think about you know like the coyote when he runs off the cliff and he's standing there, and it's not until he like reaches and does, realizes that he's run out of cliff, yeah, at, that's when he falls. That's when he falls. Not until then. Wow, that that's you know I've never even thought about that. I'm not sure what you've been I drinking I spent, or, or what you've been smoking. Level, I, like, I spent yeah, a lot. See, this is these were the guys see, in Queens. These were the guys I we stood on we sat on my stoop on 120th Avenue and we uh-huh. were just, okay so. Uh, Flash, fastest man alive. Who's faster, Flash or Superman? I don't know. You That's know? a good so, point. We, exactly. well, I pondered that often. I pondered the that. You know? All life. right. Okay. Uh, Pluto, dog. Goofy, mm-hmm. dog. Mm-hmm. Goofy wears pants, lives in the house. Pluto <laughs> stays... In the doghouse and gets his butt kicked by Chip and Dale. Yeah, how, that's not how, cool. How, that's how do good these point. happen? That's Did you ever cool. wonder how Wonder Woman found her invisible jet? I don't know. I mean, it's Did not. It was, be- it was really before they had the the beeper or anything like yeah, that. Because, like if she had an alarm, you, you, know, tell, like, right? click, 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 you know. I mean, didn't have that. Yo, any question? This is you know, this is fascinating. I didn't. I thought we were going to talk about Weber today. Yeah. But obviously we're not. Al Roker is here from the Today Show. Thank we're going to take much. your calls. 888 Shave 45. I know you got a couple of projects you're working on. I want to talk about that as well. That, sure. Welcome to the show, well, man. Thank you very much. They look just like you do on TV. That's why it's called TV. This way in the morning. Hey, now. <laughs> we want to open up the phone lines. 888 Shave 45. We have um, AJ in Texas. AJ, go hey. ahead. Hey, brother Al. How you doing, my friend? Good, AJ. How you doing? doing good man i'm a good fan man i'm a real good fan thank you but uh check it out man listening to you talking and hearing all your philosophies i was just wondering what is your opinion on the black state of america at this point with all the controversy that's surrounding the president surrounding crime black on black white on white all that good stuff what's your point what, what do you think about that Ooh. well i'm glad you asked a, a specific question there uh, mm-hmm. aj no <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I, look, I, I think it is it is it is a constantly evolving, changing situation. You cannot look. We are a, a, a rainbow, if you will. You can't. There's nobody who speaks for, quote, black America. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I mean, you've got a, a group of people who are, you know, look, you got black Republicans, you got black conservatives, you got black liberals, you got you've got everybody uh, all across the board. Uh, I think. Yeah, but I think what everybody can agree, we we just we have to keep pressing forward. I mean, this yeah. is you know, I mean, you you, you look at uh, my, look. I, this just happened last week. I mean, my my son was with me. I'm standing out on Sixth Avenue. I'm wearing a suit, dressed very much like no, I am, no, no. and you still get passed by uh-huh. by a cab. And it's like oh. this is nineteen. Yeah. This is this is two nineteen. This is two thousand twelve. Uh-huh. You know, and it still happens. And and so you know, and, and again, that's not uh, the be all and end all. But you know, look, we we still have a long way to go, and and we have to take other people along with us you mm-hmm. know i mean it's a uh i think it is it, it you know it's it's one of these things that uh uh we need to uh step up as well mm-hmm. you know and uh, uh demand uh, uh better of of our our kids and our mm-hmm. families uh you know we need to make sure that we put a a uh a premium on education mm-hmm. you know that, that, and that's on us that's on us you know do you concern you like when i first started working at mtv uh, in t- the year 2000, I first came there. One of my main concerns was what was the image that I would project sure. while being on television. Mm-hmm. 
especially as an African-American male. I put that first and foremost that, OK, I've seen all sorts of you know facets of who we are and who we can be. But it's a couple of places and areas that I don't think we really touched on, at least on that channel at that time, mm-hmm. officially enough. So it was important for me to be credible, that I represent myself well everywhere I went, mm-hmm. whenever I broke the mic. Did you consider those things well, when you look, got on TV? Yeah, look, I think that to me the goal is... Uh, and this was, look, my dad uh, drove a New York City bus. Mm-hmm. And, but his thing was, uh, I am the best bus driver the New York City transit system has. Yeah. You know, that if, if, and he used to drum that into us. As long as you can look in your mirror at the end of the day and say, you have been the best you could be today, then nobody wow. can ask anything more of you. Mm-hmm. And that, that reflects, so you don't have to think about what are you doing and how are you portraying yourself. Because if that's, I, I feel, and I, I don't think I'm the best black weatherman on TV. I just think I'm the, I like to think I'm one of the, one best, of the best weatherman, on, weatherman TV. on TV. Who happens uh, to be so, African American. Yeah. You, you know, recently Trayvon, this Trayvon Martin case, we talk about it every single mm-hmm. day. Sure. And I know you guys bumped into a little issues, right? Yeah. In, in terms of um, this edited Trayvon Martin call that played on, on your channel, right? Right. Uh, let's play it back. This guy looks like he's up to no good. He looks black. Now, who makes those decisions on how this these things yeah. happen? You know, look, it, it is it, in, in, the, in there, 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 there's no one set answer. Uh-huh. You know, in that, you know, you have a producer who is uh, trying to get a story on uh, mm-hmm. under a certain amount of time. He's given a certain amount of time to to fit in. Uh, the, okay, we want this story to be a minute thirty or a minute forty five mm-hmm. or two minutes. Uh, uh, I and I don't know. I don't even know who the producer was who did it. Yeah. But knowing going into this, I have a I have a sense that it wasn't about trying to heighten. Uh, uh, racial tension. Uh-huh. It was about probably trying to fit mm. stuff into a time period. Mm-hmm. I don't know that, uh-huh. but you know, I, I don't because I don't think it really. Uh, I, I I think the import of the story and the impact of the story is still there. Yeah. Uh, uh, does it does it make it does it condense it and maybe change it take it out of context a little bit? Sure. But the fact is, there's a young man who's still dead, and there's still questions yeah. about what happened. Mm-hmm. That that tape doesn't change that that doesn't change that you know i'm curious because you did mention briefly right now uh the your children when the trayvon martin situation happened was that a particular conversation that you wanted to have with your son is that well you know you look kinda... he's um uh, he's nine and uh we always talk about uh in certain instances about how you present yourself mm-hmm. uh and you know uh, uh you know the way you uh, portray yourself but you know i've got a i've got a, a you know a 22 year old nephew who lives uh, in fact lives in the house my my parents lived in uh and, and you know i i worry about that because mm-hmm. you know it's uh it's one of these things that you know, you you just you know uh, uh guilty of walking around while black yeah, you know yeah. you you have to if uh, you wear a hood i noticed you don't yeah. wear a hood well i i uh, you know, and it's funny. I I don't. I, I used to. We used to just call them sweatshirts. Yeah. <laughs> you know? uh-huh. But uh, no, I I don't wear a hoodie only because yeah, I don't like the thing flapping in the back. Yeah. You know, I just it's just. Well, not, that's a style thing. Yeah. You know that, that's, right? Yeah. That's it. That's well, it. That's it keeps I, you nice and warm. I, yeah. Well, you know, that's why I wear a hat. Okay. You know? My grandfather okay. always wore a fedora, so I always wear a hat. All right. Al Roker is hanging out with us. Uh, you know him from the Today Show. He also has a new uh, program that he's behind, Big Easy Justice. We're going to talk about that. 12 minutes past the top of the hour, and you never know, but what Al Roker does, he often faces life and death situations. We're going to talk about that when we come back. (laughs) It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shea 45.